and not forgive. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't forgive, yeah. God's not going to forgive you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, let, me read it. let me read it real quick. It said, go to verse 35. And I went straight down. You can read when you get home. Check my back. I went straight down. It says, so likewise shall my heavenly Father do also to you if ye from your from your what? From your heart. Forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. I just said it. Jesus said it. Mm -hmm. You have to forgive from your heart. Yeah. That man got swift uh, yeah, punishment. Listen, I said, yeah, forgiveness is unlimited. It's unconditional. You don't have, you don't have to jump through hoops for God to forgive you. You just have to meet it from your heart. And the life part, forgiveness is expected. Mm. It's expected. It's expected. I'm going to get rid of the door. See, now listen. Three things a man did. He had a short memory. Mm -hmm. He forgot what God had done for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had a short fuse. Yeah, he lost his temper and threw that young man in jail and thought that wasn't anybody looking. Mm -hmm. And number three, the problem was swift. The same jail he threw the man in, he had to go to himself. Mm -hmm. And the three things about forgiveness, it's unlimited. It's seven times seven. It's unconditional. You've got to jump through hoops. Mm -hmm. You just have to ask God and mean it from your heart. Mm -hmm. And God, number three, expect you to forgive. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. one on now. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Why does God expect you to forgive? Mm -hmm. Bible students, tell me this. I'm going to get out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and take that loss up. What was the first word Jesus said from the cross? Forgive. Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing he said from the cross. Which means if he said it and he died for us, mm -hmm. We don't have any choice but to what? Forgive. Forgive. Yeah. Forgive. You might say, preacher, why you bring that message? Well, God gave it. And it's what all my churches need. We need to learn how to forgive one another. Right. We need to learn how to let stuff go. We need to learn how to get along. Yeah. And if we can't forgive, folks, my Bible tells me, y'all see that 35th verse, God not going to forgive you. Right. And if God doesn't forgive you, that means when you die, you're going to lift up your eyes and yeah. You have to forgive. Mm -hmm. You have to forgive. Why should I forgive? Because my Lord and Savior did. Yeah. What you mean? Yeah. He forgave me yeah. of all my sins. Yeah. I don't know about you, but he forgave me of every sin I've done. Yeah. Simply because I asked him. Yeah. Simply because I Asked him from the heart, and I was truly sorry. Yeah, I may have done it again, but I still was too sorry. Matter of fact, let me stop. If you could go back right now, there's a lot of things in your past you could change. There's a lot of things you wouldn't do, but you can't go back. But that means you're sorry. That means you, you, your heart's right. If you can sin and do everything and not look back and say, I don't care. You better check yourself, or you're not headed for the right place. Right. But we who love the Lord can say, Lord, I'm glad you forgave me of all my sins. When I was deep down in sin city, you looked down and had compassion on me. You forgave me, and I just want to say thank you. I said thank you. I said thank you. I said, thank you. Well, say no wretch, just like me. That song has very amazing grief. I sweep the sound that saved a wretch, just like me. I was with love, but now I'm found. But now I see. Thank God, all right. One Friday, I said one Friday, my Jesus and your Jesus, he died on the cross, but I'm so
don't have a short fuse. Yeah. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and 26, be ye angry, because we have to make it. And say it not. Let not the sun go down mm -hmm. upon your wrath. Mm -hmm. Don't stay angry. Yeah. We're not going to get mad, yeah. but don't stay mad. Yeah, right. Forgive. <laughs> Let it go so God can turn around and bless you. And don't judge the Lord. That's it. Don't judge the Lord. I'm about to tell you, let me put the experience, but you need to come by the blood.